What's up guys, Jez here, Whiskerfight TV, we are episode 66, and this evening, I'll be tasting Bernheim Wheated Whiskey, but first, you guys will notice there is a bit of a change with the current surroundings, I had to install a new shelf because there's too many bottles, and here we are, so we are, we are here, everything's kind of on display, obviously my wild sweet spot there. A couple other things going on over there. Super exciting, fun stuff. But yeah, you guys actually get a good view of the bar now. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Heaven Hills, Bernheim. So first things first, I am hoping one day I might actually smash a glass doing that. Ah, oh, that was a good pop. I'll give you guys a cheeky look. It threw me off the new bar, so. I can probably actually get better close-ups now with the bottles too. <sighs> Perfect. This has got like a weird bottle shape on it too. So, give you guys another look at that just in case. It's pretty standard though. Pretty standard for um, Bernheim. Now as I kind of like that swish around the glass here, I like the colour on that too. It smells, it reminds me just as I kind of get into that, it reminds me the Russell's Reserve 10 year. But let me give you the stats first. So as I said, Bernheim, Kentucky Straight, we did whiskey. I think Cleo's had enough. See ya. Uh, 90 proof at 45%. Seven years old in Australia, we're paying $72 a unit. Uh, in, in the US, it's about $30 a bottle for 750 mils, which isn't too bad. American oak cask and an undisclosed mash bill consisting of minimum 51% wheat. Now, this drop is part of the Heaven Hill family. Uh, it was considered the first new style of American whiskey since Prohibition, which finished in 1933 for the whiskey buffs out there uh, and the history buffs, of course. Now, this minimum 51% wheated mash bill distilled into American oak casks is aged for seven years. Uh, inside a Kentucky rickhouse before it's dumped, blended and cut to a fresh 90 proof or 45%. Now, on the nose there, I said it was, uh, it was very consistent with their opposition being uh, Wild Turkey or Russell's Reserve. Uh, the Russell's Reserve tenure was kind of giving me the same nose. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like forward cherry, but there's still that vanilla, honey sweetness and fresh oak happening there. As it kind of like aerates in the glass, I lose some of that cherry. It kind of just goes to sweet. So as I flick it around the tongue now, getting this, uh, this peppery spice, so I'd say like a white pepper, just on the tongue there. Yeah. Uh, it's also got like this hint of cherry, which as I said, reminded me of Russell's Reserve. Um, a medium viscosity, I wouldn't say it's too oily, wouldn't say it's too, uh, Watery, it's kind of Goldilocks theory. Uh, rather short finish, but like it's got this lingering of, of toasted oak there. Mm. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just super smooth as well, being like a, a weeded mash bill. Um, now, onto the buy bar or pass method. Uh, for the, I didn't write down my notes for the buy bar or pass, so I kind of just make it up on the fly. Uh, $72 price point, uh, weeded mash bill, rather easy sipper. Uh, it's 90 proof, so not where I'd like it, but it's obviously, it's smooth. Uh, you could probably throw an ice cube in there if you wanted to. I wouldn't need to, but I'm like being a weeded mash bill as well, super smooth. Uh, for that entry level price point, like 72 bucks, you can't go wrong. Like there's not many weeded mash bills on the market in Australia. So the only other stuff we get here is probably Maker's Mark. Uh, and Maker's Mark hits about 40 and then What's the up throw behind me? What's a 46 at? That's 47% you're paying anywhere between 60 to 80 bucks for that. Depends whether it's on sale or where it's on sale. So yeah, if you can get your hands on this seven year old weeded mash, I'll put this down as a buy. Like it's, it's pretty good for what it is. Like obviously my flavors I'm kind of getting there is pretty standard in the bourbon world, but it's still a tasty drop all the same so yeah if you guys actually have the chance to taste something definitely check this sucker out mm. oh, I'm gonna wrap it up there it's nice and short just shy of uh, an ounce seven minutes so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you guys have tried the Bernheim so it's not just me I think there's a couple of people that told me on my last Bernheim post that they've tried it and they like it. So please, if you've tried some, please let me know down the bottom if you like it or if you guys are never gonna try it again, because either way, I'm interested to hear. If you guys aren't following me on YouTube or Instagram, those are the two spots this video gets uploaded. So if you aren't following me, please drop me a follow or a sub, because I'd really appreciate it. It happens every week, so be super thankful. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Love y'all. Stay thirsty. See ya.